Hi and thanks for joining me again. Okay, so this is the fitting flow chapter of the DVD. Um, so what I want to do is three things so that we can get on to our first drain down. The first is fitting the flow unit itself. Then what we want to do is get an airline to travel from the flow unit into the water system so that we can push out that water. And of course we need to bring power to the box so we want to connect up the electrics as well. So let's get moving on with that. Okay, so the first part of the process, uh, we're going to fit the flow unit itself. Now you will notice these tabs at the top and the bottom. Now the bottom tabs here are open. What you can do is actually put in screws at the bottom, just loose, and then set flow down on top of them. And then that gives you a place to level up to the eye and then put in the top screws up in here. So that's why they're open and closed. Now, space is a premium inside these types of properties, touring caravans, RVs and boats and so on. So what you may want to think about doing is taking flow and putting it up into a bulkhead out of the way or at least somewhere where you're not putting in uh, you know bedding and, and sleeping bags and so on because you have these vents on the side here and what they are doing is they're drawing in air that air will be compressed and it will be pushed down through the airline and into the, air, the water system itself okay because you may wish to put flow up into a bulkhead what you'll find is it could be difficult to operate this uh, on off switch and that's why we've given you an inline switch so that you can connect up very very easily onto the main line somewhere nice and convenient so convenience is is the main name of the game here now when you're going to fit flow to the wall what we have done is we've given you these uh, screws that you can attach the one thing i would say is do not fit flow to the wall of an actual caravan or an RV, the outside wall. Basically what you'll find is, is that the inside is a very thin skin, okay? Then you'll find a layer of insulation and then you'll have the outside wall um, of the property itself. What would happen there is when you start to put in screws into the wall, the insulation really has nowhere to go to. So what you could find is you could end up with a little bump or a dink on the outside of the property and we don't want that to happen. What you will find, and we've found a very good spot here where there is a piece of wood already in place, so sort of like a modesty panel, you can attach to that no problem. What you could also do is just get yourself a little bit of plywood. You could attach um, flow to it, fit the piece of plywood first of all, um, with a couple of screws, maybe a couple of very fine little nuts and bolts, and then just screw flow to it. Okay, so I'm down underneath here again, and I've just let out the various bits and pieces that I need for fitting uh, the box now. What I have identified is a modesty panel at the back here, and as I said, don't screw into the walls of either touring ca uh, caravans, uh, RVs, or boats, just because of the insulation factor. I've got my cable here, which I can just tuck over to the right-hand side for now. Now, what I'm going to do is we have a motor mover control box here, and I'm just, I've taken the screws out of the side, and I'm just going to move that slightly forward so that I can fit flow behind it. Now, to be neat, you could fit it in the center, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it to the left-hand side. And the reason for that is, is because this space is at a premium, you could put things like sleeping bags and blankets and bedding and so on in here. And we don't want that to affect how flow operates. So what I want to do is move it to the left so that nothing really is going to squeeze between this gap and block up these vents. Now, what I've also noticed is that there is I'm not sure if you can see, but a vent here at the back and a little hole down here. And this is going to allow some fresh air to come up, um, obviously, and, and, and that's great because uh, that's what flow requires, some fresh air so that it compress and blow into the system. So the only two tools that I'm using here is a bradle, a very old one. If you don't have a bradle, sharp point, sharp point of a screwdriver or indeed a long screw so that you can just push through and make a mark in the actual wood as to where we're going to push this. Now, remember at the bottom you have space, okay, that required for this particular right angle um, for the airline. I have fitted that already just so that I know obviously what space I need to be dealing with and of course we've got our electric socket. So we just want to bring that up, as they say, off the deck a little bit, okay. Now, we already have a switch put into place here. So what I can do is just bring this up. I'm not gonna bring it up all the way. I still would like to get uh, my hand to be able to operate the on-off switch, but I'm actually going to come away from using it, leave it on the on position, and just use the switch, which is closer to this front door. I don't want to have to lift the seats up and, and so on. Okay, so let's get that fitted. So we'll get the first screw in. 
and I'll take you with me on that one and then I'll, I'll fit the rest of it. Okay, here we go. So what I want to do is get it into the right place, more or less, more or less um, to the eye. I can't do the bottom ones here and get the screws in because I'm gonna have to tilt this motor mover up onto its side so that I can get the bottom screws in. So I'm actually gonna concentrate just on getting the top screws first of all. Okay, so get it up to about there. Get the bridle in and just get it more or less level. You can level up in a second. So that's it, I've got the bridle in. Now, again, as I said, what we're going to do is place one of these little white modesty retainers on first of all, put that through the box tab and on the back of it use one of these little um, anti-vibration washers and just push that on get it up in try and find the hole where i've pushed with the bridle push it in and let's get that screwed into place now you don't want to over tighten this you just want it to be firm but you don't have to really screw it hard and that's that's tight enough Okay, so that is the box fitted. Just the last remaining little modesty cap. You'll see the one in the top left hand side. Just makes it nice and neat and tidy. Just reach in here and push that one on. Just snaps into place and that's it. So all I need to do is bring this motor mover back down into place. What I also have here is my electricity, which I'm gonna connect up and I'm gonna connect up the air. But we'll do that in a second. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to want to do is to fit up the Airline 2 Flow. Now, there's two fittings that come with Flow. Uh, one is a right angle, 10 millimeter piece push fit, and this would be a straight connector as well. If you're, like I said to you before, if you're fitting Flow up high, these particular connectors are so that you can connect on the four meters of Airline. Up high, maybe you want your Airline to come straight down the wall, and that's fine. But if you're fitting it down at a low level, what you may want to do, you're close to the floor, is use the right angled piece for that. Now what that does is once you connect on your four meter airline, I've just taken a little cutting here, it's just push fit, but it stops the uh, kinking of the actual pipe work itself. Now the beauty of the push fit connections is you can just get your fingers behind there and just pull those off again and they just come off nice and easy. So the other end of the four meters of airline we've given you four meters obviously because you may be setting a unit over here and but yet your your water connection is perhaps over at this side feel free to cut it to size uh, by leaving it actually in the coil and just wrapping that coil up and setting it in the background actually will allow you to fill that more with air but it's you know it's entirely up to yourself at this end of the unit Again, it's just push fit, and that is where your T is connected on. And in the system layout part of the DVD, we've covered um, where this should be fitted and so on. Um, so let's just go and get the airline for that fitted now. Okay, so just to get this airline fitted, it is rather awkward. I'm behind the seat here, this, um, just because of the water heater here in the way, and indeed I'm trying to show it in the camera. So you can see the line coming through. So I hope I don't knock the camera flying. But what I want to do, and that's the beauty of push fit is just get the pipe work and push it down nice and firmly into the T and that is that part fitted. So we've got the other end of the line now this particular line I've just cut to a rough enough length you can just keep it in a coil and that can give you more volume in your air but actually you know for this one there's enough bits and pieces in this particular cupboard so I'm just going to cut it to size. What you want to do is make sure First of all, if we can just move this motor mover, then I still can get access to it, okay? I am using the right angled piece. I'm gonna put it back on the box because what I want to do is first of all, find out what length of pipe. I'm gonna cut this pipe a little bit more. What you wanna do is pull it fairly tight so that you know a pretty much where how much you need. You want to give yourself about an inch, obviously half an inch to, to an inch, really for it to actually slide into the, um, the elbow piece there itself. But what I'm gonna do is pull it tight, okay? And it doesn't have to 
to be that tight. I know where I'm um, more or less going to be, but what I want to do is pull it back a couple of inches and get it into the right place. That just means that you've got a little bit of extra slack just to play with. So all I'm using, just typical pipe cutters, straight through, and as I mentioned to you, and I will reiterate earlier on, by the way, just round off the little piece of pipe. It goes a little oval, so I've got that as excess. As I said to you before, do not use a saw. A saw will leave too much of a serrated rough edge on there uh, and it won't work um, very well for a good tight seam. So I'm not sure if you can see here, if I can move this water mover out of the way just slightly. Okay, just basically get it into the elbow connection and push fit as it would be. Now, that is the airline connected. Bring the motor mover back down again. Airlines connected. The next thing we have the tail end for the electric, so let's go and have a look at those now. Okay, so the third and final part of fitting flow is obviously fitting the electrics, okay? And just to show you in this little diagram, what we have is the connector coming out of the bottom of flow. That indeed will then fit in to the end of this four meter connection, and that's it fitting in here. I'm gonna come back to the switch in a second, but at the end of the four meter connection comes to this little T here. And again, in the last chapter, uh, the, the layout chapter, we discussed how to fit that and so on, because one end of it goes to the battery box itself and the other end is traveling towards the consumer unit where all of the fuses um, for the property are. What we do have here, and again in the last chapter I discussed where to fit that, what you want to do, this is an inline switch, and it means that what you can do is actually put that in a convenient location. Because you may have fitted the box up in a bulkhead out of the way, something somewhere like that, it means that it can be difficult to get to the on-off switch at the top. So it just means that you can use the little on-off switch here in line in a nice comfortable location. So that's the, the we've fitted the four meter cable, we've fitted the T in the last chapter. So what we need to do is just get this snapped into place and that's it, we're good to go for our first drain down. Okay, so just as a recap on the electrics, as you can see here, we have our T fitted in place. That's given us our connection to the main fuse area. We have our four meter connection brought over to here, okay? That is connected to the T via this junction here, okay? And it just snaps and fits, you can't go wrong with that. I've coiled up this four meter cable so that we can use it again if we wanted to, and I have brought a loop, just a single loop, coming down to this little switch. So when we want to switch flow on and off, we can do that. So all I need to do is just take this particular piece with the other end of the cable, snap them together, and that's it. That's the electrics fitted. So we just want to put tidy that up and put the motor mover back into place again. And that's it, that's flow fitted. As you can see, we've fitted the box back here to the modesty panel. We have left enough space down the left hand side here that we know that any bedding isn't gonna get into there and block up those vents. And we know that we have got an air vent underneath it there, which is great as well, that's just a bonus. We have fitted the motor mover control box back uh, on here. The airline is fitted to the bottom and the wiring is fitted in here. Now, because it is in there and I don't want to lift the seats all the time, as I said to you before, we've brought this loop over here. So, when I want to do a particular drain down, all I have to do is this little door here, leave the seats down where they are, and open this little door, and all I have to do is reach in, switch on the switch, and that's all we have to do. So, I think we're ready to do our first drain down. 